Hello and welcome to this module on analyzing data with P4 tables. We've been given a data set of parcels data of about 1,540 records. The company that we are dealing with is called Nile uh, Solar. Nile Solar sells equipment across Eastern Africa to government, to small businesses, to enterprises and other segments. The company sells to about four or five countries and they have a product, they have a unit sold, manufacturing price, sales price, gross sales, sales, uh, cost of goods sold, the profit and the date that the sale was made. The sales manager would like to answer some questions from this data. Some of the questions that we want to answer from this data is what are the total sales broken down per year, sales per year by month, sales per month, sales by country, sales by product segments or uh, sales by the product and segments, gross sales. We want also to answer questions such as cost of goods sold across the years, cross broken down by months and quarters. We also want to calculate the total profits by per year and per country. Now to get us started, uh, let's go through this data where column A is segments the country, the product, ban, all that, all the way to the column M where we have the date of the sale. On the country, let's create a filter so that we'll see which countries we are selling to. Nile Solar is selling to Burundi, Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania and, UK and Uganda. Now we would like to answer the first questions where we want to do the total sales per year. Using P4 tables which is found under the insert command on the ribbon, you go to insert then P4 tables. You don't need to select anywhere, instead you just need to select on P4 tables. Then Excel is going to select this uh, table called financials, then click OK. Once there, the first question is we want to get the total sales per year. So we'll use the date column, pick it and drop it to the rows area. You can see we have the rows, filters, columns and values. Excel automatically attempts to group for you that data and we have uh, them on the rows. We pick the sales and put it on values, select on any cell where we have the years, right click, then click group, then select only years to answer the first questions where we want to um, analyze the data by year, then click OK. So we get that the total sales per year and the total sales below, so we get 2019 is 28 million, 119 million, 117 million, and total sales is 265 million, 714,177.28. The second question we want to answer is what was the total sales per month? Using the same uh, template, we can still group this and right click and tell Excel to group our data by years and the month. Then click OK. We can then change the format by going to design, then report layout, change it to outline form so that we have the year in its own column, the month on its own column, and sales on its own column. We can further introduce the tabular format where we have this and insert also a blank line after each item so that we have 2019 on its own, 2020 on its own, and 2021 on its own. It's always advisable that we show the most recent period by selecting the year, then go to data, then sort this in descending order so that we get the most recent period, then last year, then 2019. The next question that we want to answer is what is the total sales by country, by segment, and by product? I'll go back to the data set, then insert pivot table, then from pivot table I'll click OK then I'll get the fields. Now I want to answer the total sales by country. I'll pick the country to the rows, pick sales to the values and I want the segment. So you can pick the segment and it's, you can choose where to put the segment either on the columns or on the rows. So when you check this and put it on the rows you can see the difference. You can also change the country to the columns and you'll see the format of your report. So it really depends on how you want that report to look like. The next one is what is the sales by segment? 
so that when we're going to do it alone or you can get it from this template and remove the country so that you can get the segment alone or only report the country we we'll also want to do the total sales um, the cost of goods sold versus total sales so we'll have two columns columns on gross sales and the, the column for cost of goods so this is this column and gross sales and we also want the period so I'm going to use the same steps insert from pivot table I'll kill click OK then I'm going to pick the cost of goods to the values the order in which you pick this um, doesn't matter then I'll pick the gross sales then pick the period which is the date there then I'm going to group this into quarters years and months like that so I'll have my years the quarters and the months but I want this in a different design I'm going to change this to outline format and then change it also to tabular format so that we have years quarters and the months in different columns I can rename this to month then have it there and also sort this so that I get the most recent sales as my latest data and that is how to analyze sales data using pivot tables.